Hi parents! Today I wanted to discuss with you communication and how we can increase the communication skills that our children have to decrease the communication that is not so desirable because all behavior is communication, right? And sometimes that communication comes out as screaming, crying, hitting, throwing, and those are behaviors that can be harmful to other people in some aspects, such as the hitting and kicking. So we wanna decrease that from happening, right? And the first way we can do this is something I tell parents all the time, and that is to model the kind of behavior and communication that we expect from our children or that we want them to learn. So I would say, how are you communicating with your child? Are you getting down to their level? Are you making eye contact, showing that you care? Are all of your communications with them revolving around commands as opposed to connection? Do you spend a lot of time nurturing that bond where your focus is just on them and you can discuss with them how their day is going, how was school? And you may not, there's no right answer to any of this. You might just wanna shift the way you communicate a tiny bit. You may think, you know what, I've already got a lot of this down and that's great. You know, we just wanna model the best we can to the best of our ability because we're all humans, we cannot be perfect. So just model that behavior that shows I care, I wanna communicate with you, I wanna know how you are. And that will really affect how your child behaves with others around them. Also, the tone of voice is important too in making sure that you know we're saying things in a way where it's not fake, where it's not pressured, where it's not just sarcastic, because sometimes we might feel like communicating in that way, and that's normal also. But if we, if we can find a place within us where it's a little bit more genuine and our children will really get a sense of that. They can tell. They're very wise, they're very intuitive. And one thing I wanna mention also about modeling good communication skills is the power of touch. So when we have issues in our classroom where I feel like a child is just not quite connecting with the kids in the class, they're just having a hard time that day, it's usually not a prolonged period of time at all, just for that day or maybe even for that instance, I see there's a lot of disruption. Nothing seems to be going right. I won't just sit there from across the room and say, what's going on? Or can you come tell me what the problem is? I will make the effort to walk over to them or to invite them over to me and maybe put a hand on their shoulder and say, what's going on? How can I help you? I noticed you're having a hard time. Or I might just offer, do you need a hug? That powerful sense of uh, closeness that touch that you feel and a short embrace, it's really meaningful to children. So, and that's a way of communicating too. A lot of times we think once my child is able to talk, once he's able to tell me I need to go to the bathroom or I'm really frustrated or I'm really hungry, that that will just change their behavior. And it won't necessarily <laughs> because even as adults, we can be hungry, we can be tired, we can be frustrated and we don't always just say that, right? Sometimes we lash out and we say hurtful things or we say things that we didn't really intend to say to other people. But if we can learn to use feeling words and to take care of our bodies before we get to that point where we're so over the edge, that can be really helpful too. So along with communication, we can teach our children to be in tune with how they're feeling so that they're able to express those feelings. So that's basically all I have to offer for you today regarding communication. This is a huge topic that we could go into in lots of different videos. But for now, I just want you to know, here comes the kitty. <laughs> this is crazy. She, oh, there she goes. Just want you to know that a big part of teaching children communication is communicating with them often in positive ways. So your modeling is actually going to be the best way that they learn to communicate all of those feelings that we are so hopeful that they will learn to communicate. So you're doing a great job so far. I'm sure if you don't feel supported in that, I want you to know that even watching this video proves that you care and you want your child to be successful in learning how to get along with other people. So that's amazing. Thanks for watching.